Um, it's got the cold water supply shut off and the flue pipe exhaust all looks good going into the chimney. You've got your pressure leaf valve releasing the uh, improper pressure in the tank if it overheats. And then the drop pipe down to the floor. You have your gas shut off valve within six feet of the unit. Um, so for the most part, the only thing I don't see that I would recommend is a drain pan in case it releases at the bottom of the water heater. But what I wanted to show you is um, how you can have a gas leak. I got my gas seeker right here. You can have a gas leak that's not from the plumber or from the installation of the plumber. These gas control valves are um, they're assembled in the manufacturing of the water heater uh, company itself. So they don't do anything with the fittings down below here, but they can, and they can be tightened up. So what we have here is I'm going to turn this up, and then I'll make sure I turn it back down. I got my gas seeker warming up right here. I'll get that tuned in a second here. This thing is really old. I've had this thing since the 90s, but it still works. Let's get this calibrated in. So when I breathe in carbon dioxide, it triggers it. So this is a multi-seeker. It'll detect carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, natural gas, LP. So let's give it a, a whirl. So as you can see, I go through on some of these fittings. It's the pilot supply line. The one over here is for the burner. No leaks. Good. That little brass fitting just needs to be tightened up. Probably should disassemble it, put some pipe dope on it, and then tighten it up. Thanks for watching this video. Keep on watching.